What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, we are gonna replace our leaf springs on our 2019 Grand Design 28BH. Uh, I'll show you guys the reason we're replacing them and uh, what this process looks like, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm underneath the trailer now. Um, these are the left side springs, and the reason we're, the reason that we're uh, replacing them is you can see that they've completely flattened out. Um, in this area right here, the springs are actually kind of bowed down, uh, so they're starting to really, really flatten out over here on the left side. I mean, you can tell there's no arch left in those springs whatsoever. So before we get started, um, get everything disassembled, We've seen a lot of posts of uh, fifth wheels with broken leaf springs. It's been something that I've kind of been keeping an eye on. Uh, we've already had to deal with a broken spring hanger, uh, broken spring shackles. We dealt with one in Colorado on the side of the road, which was not fun. We found our other one starting to crack uh, before we left Florida. Uh, so we were able to get that repaired at the campground before we got on the road, which was awesome. With that in mind, when we started seeing all the posts of people having broken leaf springs, uh, it just seems to be a very, very common problem. And we don't wanna, have, we don't wanna deal with that on the side of the road. I tried to look for the replacement springs, very hard to find right now, um, but I got on michigantruckspring.com. So Michigan Truck Spring is where I ordered the leaf springs from. These are actually 3,000 pound leaf springs, 3,000 pounds each, which is gonna give us a little bit more uh, just a little beefier suspension. Um, our leaf springs have four leaves. Some people recommended going up to a five leaf spring uh, setup, but I would have to get new U-bolts to do that. And that's really just more than I wanted to get into. So if I could find a heavier spring that was still four leaves, but give us just a little, maybe a little more uh, support, maybe just a slight, you know, slightly more heavy duty than what came on here from the factory. That's what we would go with. That's what I found. So that's what we're gonna use. So we've weighed our trailer. I know we're not overweight, so I don't really have a good explanation as to why these springs have flattened out the way they have. Just kind of chalking it up to the fact that um, since we've owned this trailer, we have been from Florida to Montana, through South Dakota, um, back down through Wyoming, back to Florida, um, back out to South Dakota, back down to New Mexico, up through Colorado, back to Florida, back to Texas, back to Florida. So, you know, it's been uh, a tremendous amount of miles. Anybody that's driven out west knows that some of the roads out there are not very good. Um, they're very rough, very bouncy. So I just kind of attribute this to just over all those thousands and thousands and thousands of miles, just the, you know, the bouncing and just kind of the wear and tear has um, just kind of taken its toll on, on the suspension on the trailer. So. Um, I'm hoping that these springs will be a little beefier and give us just a little more, um, you know, hopefully a little more life and we won't have to do this every two years. But, all right, so I'm gonna get this thing jacked up. Um, I'm gonna start by raising, using the uh, auto level jacks and I'm gonna raise the trailer up, not to get the tires off the ground, but to take quite a bit of weight off of the axles. And uh, then I can use my bottle jack to kind of uh, raise and lower the axle as needed to get the bolts out of the leaf springs and, um, and get them replaced. So while I'm in there, while I have the tires off, um, I'm gonna go ahead and repack the bearings. We're just a couple of months away from, from that being due anyway. So I'm already gonna have the tire off. Um, you know, I'm already gonna have the trailer jacked up. It just makes sense to go ahead and do that. It's probably only gonna take me maybe an extra 20 minutes per per tire, you know, per wheel to get those things, uh, to get those bearings repacked. I picked up the grease seals. And uh, if you guys are wondering what that looks like, repacking the bearings on a fifth wheel, I've got a video, I'll leave a link to that. Uh, but for now, let's tackle these springs. All right, so I've got the uh, trailer jacked up. I used the 
like I said, I used leveling jacks to raise uh, most of the weight up off the trailer, but not all of it. I didn't want the tires off the ground. I didn't want the uh, jacks to have to support 100% of the weight of the trailer, but I did want to get it up enough to where my bottle jack uh, would have some, some room to move up and down to uh, kind of help get these springs out. So you can see what we got here. So I have my bottle jack set up right underneath the U-bolts. I know that a lot of manufacturers uh, don't advise don't want you jacking up on the axle but i really think that applies to like putting a jack way up under the middle of the axle and trying to raise the whole thing at one time uh, i think if you're just doing one side at a time i think you're going to be fine jacking it up from underneath the u-bolts and also um, if you've got more weight supported by your leveling jacks then you're going to be fine using that bottle jack that's a 12 ton bottle jack that i got from harbor freight super cheap and it works like a champ let's take some springs apart so the nut on the springs is going to be an 11 16 nut and then the head of the uh, wet bolt is going to be a 13 16 so i'm going to put a 13 16 socket on the back uh 11 16 out here we're going to break these loose and once we get them out i'll show you what these wet bolts look like All right, so I've got just a little bit of weight taken off the axle. So that's got this wet bolt able to really slide right out. And here's what your wet bolt is gonna look like. It'll have the grease zerk in the back of it. And then um, there is a little, a little tiny hole in this bolt that allows the grease to push out into the bearings. Easy enough. Let's see what the other one comes out like. All right. So now I'm going to try to either raise up or lower down and see if we can get this bolt loose. Right, had to, so I had to spin the nut back on a little bit and uh, give it a little tap. But, you know, once you find that, that sweet spot where most of the weight is off of that bolt, um, it'll come out pretty easy. So now we're gonna lower, lower this whole side of the axle down, take our U-bolts loose and get the spring off of there. So the U-bolt nuts are going to be three quarters. All right, two U-bolts off. The plate at the top is off. One leaf spring. So there we go. Um, looks like the correct leaf spring. Everything is, uh, everything lines up. The eyes lined up. I measured it before I ordered it, but you know, you just never know sometimes until you, until you actually get it. But I mean, this one you can't, this one's a little harder to see. It's not as prominent as the other side, but it's definitely, you know, you can see like where this, this one's starting to arch. These are flat. So um, it definitely seemed like our left side was sagging a lot more than the right side was. So I feel like the left side, that's where the uh, the slide is in this unit. Our refrigerator's over there on that side. So the left side definitely carries more weight. But for now, let's reinstall this one and uh, get this side buttoned up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna set our new leaf spring in place. Now's a good time to check your shackles. Our shackles are looking good, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure they're not cracked or anything like that. So go ahead and get this spring reinstalled. I mean, overall, that was pretty simple removal uh, for not being, you know, for not being apart ever. So we're gonna center our spring 
right there on top of the axle. So we're gonna put our U-bolts and the plate back on top of it. We're gonna snug them down, but we're not gonna tighten it all the way. We're gonna get our wet bolts put back in and we're gonna get everything snug. And then I'll go back uh, once everything's in and then we'll torque it down to the proper specs. Our jack, jack this up in place. So it, it's really easy to move, um, to move that spring around while it's on the jack and uh, to get the bolt back in. So I was a little concerned that it'd be hard to hard to do all that, but honestly, it's been. It's really easy to move this thing around wherever you need it. So I also saw a lot of information saying that um, these lock nuts weren't really meant to be reused, uh, but as long as it, your threads on your bolts were good, you could reuse them. Uh, just add a little bit of Loctite to them so they don't back out. And then it also recommended uh, checking them after like 100 to 150 miles of driving. Just check the torque on them, make sure they stay tight. And uh, if they stay tight, you're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of Loctite to these bolts. That way when I put the nut back on, hopefully she stays in place. Threading right back on with no issue. So that's good, that's a good sign. Front one's snug down. Let's get this back one in place. So you see here, we're just gonna line up the shackle to the rear eye and uh, bolt her down. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna tighten these down. Um, got that bolt through there. So one thing um, that I, I didn't show on the video that we did was uh, I put a little bit of grease on these bolts to help them slide through easier. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna go back and uh, I'll grease everything with, uh, with my grease gun since these are all wet bolts. Um, but I did put a little bit of, just a little layer of grease on there uh, to help them, help them get through those bushings. All right, all that's left to do now is uh, just torque everything down to the proper specs. So Dexter recommends on your, on your U-bolts uh, to be 45 to 70 pounds for this style. These are half inch U-bolts on the 5,200 pound axles. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go 70 pounds on these and then it says 45 to 60 on the wet bolts so uh, i'm going to go ahead and just go 60 pounds on those and uh get everything torqued all right now I reset my torque wrench down to uh 60 pounds and we'll do these All right, just got done torquing this one down. These are all torqued. We've torqued our U-bolts. So, I mean, that's it. You know, that's all you're gonna do. Um, now we just have to go around and do it three more times. So it's not a difficult job to do at all. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely something you wanna keep an eye on. Definitely something you wanna do if you see your springs flattening out. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description to the, um, to the website where I purchased these springs from. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with them. They fit perfect. Uh, the only downside might be that these do have nylon bushings versus the bronze bushings that were in our other springs. But after doing a ton of research, um, it seems like if you're using wet bolts to where you can grease them, um, that the nylon bushings actually hold up almost as well as the bronze bushings do, as long as you uh, grease them. So I was pretty religious about greasing this thing. So um, I don't expect we'll have an issue with the nylon bushings. Uh, so, you know, that's, uh, 
it's not a fun job but it's definitely not the hardest thing i've ever done on this it's just uh it's a little time consuming it's taken me um it's taken me probably about 30 minutes to actually change the spring once i got everything set up um, and got the tire off so it's about a half hour to, to replace that spring so i'm gonna go around and do the other ones i hope you guys found this informative um, if you have any questions about anything uh, that you saw me do or maybe something you didn't see me do uh, feel free to leave a leave a question down in the comments we respond to all of our comments and uh man it's a hot day so i'm gonna go ahead and finish these other three but uh we appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys down the road